hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe so as i was going through pinterest i found this top and i thought of recreating it using yarn and using hook and this top is a it's a feather tube top and i thought of recreating it and the top that i made this is how it looks you can just comment down below if it's a win or if it's a good try or if it's a fail just comment down below then if you want to make a similar top here it's here it's a tutorial that you are going to use that so that you can make this top the following are the requirement to make this top i'll be using a pink color yarn and it's a robin yarn it's a 50 gram weight yarn also, I'll be using a 3.5 millimeter hook. I would recommend you to use a 3.5 millimeter hook. Then lastly, you require a measuring tape so that you can take the measurement that you want for the measurement that you want for the top. So take the length that you want for the top. That is what that is what you'll be crocheting first. Then after that, you also require a pair of scissors so that you can cut off the yarn. I don't know where the pair of scissors and my measuring tape are, but let's get into it. Begin by making a slip knot, and this is how we make a slip knot. Then after that, you insert the hook on this big loop over there, over here. Then after that, tighten the yarn. We'll be chaining the length that you want for this top. So chain any number of stitches. You can just chain any or you can use your measuring tape to take the measurement of the length that you want. So just chain the length that you want, the length that you desire for this top. So chain, then after that, I'll be there to show you what to do next. After chaining, this is how my chain looks. You should have something like this. So remember, this is not my exact measurement of the length that I want for the top. I've already made the top. This is just a sample that I'll be using to guide you on how to make this top. So after making a chain, you skip this first stitch over here. So just skip the first stitch over here then onto the next stitch place a single crochet so this is the stitch that i'm talking about and please don't mind my nails so place a single crochet onto that first stitch you just pull up a loop then after that yarn over all the two loops at the same time again insert the hook onto the next stitch So insert the hook, then pull through the yarn. You should have two loops on your hook. Then after that, yarn over all the two loops at the same time. Then again, insert the hook onto this stitch over here. Then pull through the yarn. You should have two loops on your hook. Then after that, yarn over all the two loops at the same time. So keep on repeating until you complete this row. I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what to do next. After completing the row of single crochet, you are just going to chain one. Then after chaining one, insert the hook, <coughs> insert the hook onto the first stitch over here. Then after that, grab your yarn using this finger over here. So just grab your yarn. Then, then use your hook to twist the loop. Then after that, you are just going to pull through the yarn of onto this stitch over here. You should have three loops on your hook. So this is the first loop. Then these two other loops are twisted. So after that, you are just going to let go of this loop over here. Then after that, after that, make a single crochet. So you are going to end this loop stitch pattern as a single crochet. So just pull through the yarn like that. So I'm going to show you again what to do. So you are just going to insert the hook onto this stitch over here, onto the next stitch. Then grab your yarn using this finger like that. Then after that, you are going to twist around the loop. So just twist it around like that. Then after that, pull through the yarn you should have th three loops on your hook so this is the first loop and these are other two loops so these two loops are twisted so after that you are going to let go of this loop over here so just let it go 
then after that you are going to yarn over all the three loops at the same time so this is my second loop stitch you are going to make the third one so insert the hook onto this stitch over here then after that grab the yarn using the finger this finger then you are just going to twist around the yarn like that then after that pull through the yarn you should have three loops on your hook then after that yarn over all the three loops at the same time so this is a bit simple but it is a bit difficult in explaining so it's a bit simple in doing it but a bit difficult in explaining what you are doing so just repeat the pattern it will get simple it will get more simple as you keep on practicing and you will be a bit fast as you get used to it So let me show you when I'm a bit fast what I can do with my hands. <laughs> so repeat this until you complete this row. Then after that, I'll be there to show you what to do next. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I've, I'm almost completing this row and I'm remaining with the last stitch over here. So remember to place a loop stitch onto this last stitch over here. Don't omit this stitch so that you are so that this pattern can be a bit straight so it can be a bit straight. So you are going to place a loop stitch over here. So I had I had to remind you about placing about placing a loop stitch onto this last stitch over here because this last stitch may look like it isn't there <laughs> so you are going to place a loop stitch onto this stitch just like that then after that you are going to chain one and place single crochet we'll be alter we'll be alternating a row of we'll be alternating a row of loop stitch and a row of single crochet so this is how my first row of loop stitch looks and you should have something like this so this is how it looks and you should have something like this so after that after completing the first row of loop stitch you are just going to chain one then after chaining one place a single crochet in each and every stitch and don't forget to place a single crochet onto this first stitch over here so just place a single crochet onto this stitch and onto the rest of the stitches then after that i'll be there to show you again on how to make the second row of of loop stitch so it's a bit simple than it looks Also, don't forget to place a single crochet onto this last stitch over here so remember don't omit this stitch over here so you are going to place a single crochet onto that stitch over there then after that chain one and turn your work around on this side we'll be making a loop stitch pattern so so insert the hook again so let me show you again on how to make the loop stitch pattern so just insert the hook then grab your yarn using this finger over here like that then after that your hook should twist the yarn around then put through the yarn through that stitch over there you should have three loops on your hook so you can just hold the loop that you have made using this finger then after that yarn over all the three loops at the same time so i'm just going to repeat again what i've said so just insert the hook onto this stitch over here then grab the yarn using this finger then the hook then twist the yarn using your hook like that pull through the yarn you should have three loops on your hook then let go of this loop over here 
then after that the you can use this finger over here so that you can hold the loops that you have made then after that yarn over all the three loops at the same time so keep on repeating the pattern then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next i've completed making the second row of loop stitch so remember we'll be alternating the pattern so after making the row of loop stitch on the next row we'll be making a row of single crochet so keep on keep on repeating the pattern alternating the pattern so after making a row of single crochet the next row you should do a you should do a row of loop stitch so repeat this until you achieve the height that you desire for this top then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next so i like this pattern a lot so this is how my piece looks after achieving the height that i want for this top you should have something like this so i really like this pattern it's my favorite pattern so the reason i like this pattern it gives you a fancy something something that is a bit fancy so you should have something like this then after that i'll be showing you how to make this pattern on the end of this piece so you should place this pattern on the edges of this piece so the, re the reason why you are placing this pattern on the edges of this piece is to attach the strap on the back side of this top so remember this will be the back side and we'll be placing the strap placing the strap on the back side of this top so i'll be guiding you on how to make this on this other side because i've all, because i've already made this on this side so let's get into it we are almost to complete we are almost to complete making this top so keep on going ensure you, ensure you attach the end on the last stitch on the first stitch on this side so we'll be placing single crochet at the end of the rows that you have made so uh, so after attaching the yarn you are going to chain one so i'm going to chain one then after that turn my work around then after that i'll be placing a single crochet at the end of the rows that you have made so place a single crochet onto this stitch over here then again place a single crochet onto this stitch over here so keep on repeating single crochet until you complete this side up to this side up to this end then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next so guys don't don't forget to subscribe to my channel i have a lot of design that i'm coming up with and i'm willing to share them with you guys so just subscribe to my channel so that you can keep on, so that you can motivate me to keep on going and please don't forget to like to like this video and also you can share After completely making single crochet in each and every stitch, after that we'll chain four. So chain four. We are going to chain four. So that one, two, three, and four. So let me make this a bit more. So these are two chains that I've made. Three, then four. So after that we are going to skip this stitch over here. Yarn over, then insert the hook onto the next stitch. Then we'll be placing a double crochet. So just yarn over the first two loops. Then lastly lastly and over the last two loops then after that chain one so after chaining one you skip the next stitch then onto the next stitch you are going to place a double crochet so just place a double crochet then after that chain one then skip the next stitch then onto the next stitch place a double crochet keep on repeating the pattern until you complete this row then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next so remember after making a double crochet you just chain one then place chain one then skip the next stitch then onto the next stitch place another double crochet so keep on repeating the pattern until you complete this row then after that i'll be there to show you what what to do next so i'm almost completing this row i'm going to place a double crochet onto this stitch then as you can see i'm remaining with two last stitches over here so i'm going to chain one skip the next stitch then onto this last stitch over there i'm going to place a double crochet and that is it for the second row then after that you are going to chain one you are going to make the other row on this side so chain one then after that turn your work around you are going to place a uh, single crochet onto where you had chain one so place a single crochet onto the stitch that you are onto that chain one space then after that you'll be placing a single crochet on top of this previous double crochet that you made then again place a single crochet inside this stitch or onto the chain one space so keep on repeating the pattern so place a single crochet onto this chain one space then after that place a single crochet on top of this stitch that you had made this previous double crochet stitch so keep on repeating the pattern until you complete this row then after that i'll be here to show you how to make the strap for this top
So you have completed making this pattern on the side of this top. So after that, you are going to chain one. So just chain one, then after that, cut off your yarn. I don't have a pair of scissors. I'm going to use my heart. So don't do this. Don't try this at home. But I'm just going to do it because I don't know where my pair of scissors is. Just like that. Then after that, pull through the yarn and tighten off. So last thing that you are going to make is the strap straps for this tube top so you are going to make the strap for this top to make the strap you are going to use two strands of yarn then after that make make a make a slip knot then chain a longer chain 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 a longer chain as you desire so after chain so chain a longer chain then after that i'll be here to show you what to do next I've made a strap so after that you are going to attach the strap at the back side of this top the hook should assist you on attaching the strap so we are going to attach we are going to insert the hook onto that side then after that pull through the strap onto that first stitch over there then also you are going to repeat that on this other side just pull through the strap onto that side just like that then after that you are going to skip two stitches then onto this stitch over here we are going to insert the hook then pull through the yarn so you are going to alternate you are going to alternate the strap We are going to skip the two we are going to skip the two stitches then after that attach the strap onto this stitch over here so just keep on repeating attaching the strap and remember you are skipping the two stitches completely making the top and this is how it looks this is how the back side looks i really love the top so that is it hope this tutorial was helpful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video see and don't forget to like this video so see you on my next video bye